Hey everybody, this is Intro, and this is the second tutorial on artificial intelligence and how to use basic artificial intelligence. So what we're going to go over today is putting in user input and storing it into a file on your desktop computer, laptop, or hard drive. So what you're going to need for this is the OFStream header file, which will allow you to actually pull up a file from your desktop or create a new file from your desktop and the IO manip, IO manip header which will allow you to actually manipulate that file so what we're going to want to do first is create a function that um, prompts the user that we're going to be using um, some type of user input so let's call it function one um, give it a body and then just tell the user okay enter a string value for um, the files give it some room and end it so now we're gonna wanna take uh, create a string object uh, you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna put um, D um, and then an input so obviously just want to store it in that same exact variable and now we have the basic input just like we did last time so what's different about this one is we're going to actually be storing it to an actual file um, so we're going to be creating a new file if you have a file created um, well I'll go, I'll go ahead and show you really fast so you we're going to create a OF stream object uh, give it a name so I'll just name mine file out with these you're gonna have to name what the file we want to save this output to in the uh, parentheses right here within these uh, parameters so I'm just gonna put zzz dot text and again you can use uh, dot html dot css any file extension um, that could be pulled up in a text editor of course and put that in between the parentheses and of course choose any name that you want that's just the name that I chose so what we're gonna wanna do after this is go in and actually have the user input that we installed up here in Z and put that into file out so for that we're just going to type in file out and use our insertion operator to insert Z so once Z is inserted, we already or we'll have the contents of Z in our file out. Now we can go ahead and display that contents to the user on the screen. So contents of the file. Go ahead and give it some room and we're just going to say file out and in that line go down here and of course prototype the function and just run our program okay so it said that um, what I had written up here was wrong that all I see right now it's because I have two of the same objects okay so we have IO stream string IO manip and I accidentally inserted IO stream again um, what we need actually for this is to use the header file include F stream which will allow you to be able to save a file to your desktop sorry about that so once you have F stream up here as your file um, this OF stream object will then be called in using this dictionary so once that's fixed I'm just gonna go ahead and rebuild it really quick make sure there's no errors and no errors okay so go ahead and run the program again make sure it's prototyped and okay so enter a string value for the file as you see right here and we're just going to enter intro tech tutorials click enter contents of file and actually right here where it shows us the um, memory address of the file as if we were using a pointer and this is because we didn't use the uh, actual user input we use the file out um, 
to file out OF stream object, which um, in a way pointed to the memory address as if we were using the uh, memory address operator. So what we're going to change this to is Z, no errors, and build. String value for this file, and I'm just going to enter intro. Contents of this file is intro, being that we gave it the parameter or the variable passed through to this um, output operator. Um, and that's basically how you create um, a file output that allows a user to input some information and store it to a text file or any other type of file on your computer. Uh, later on we'll be going over how to manipulate actual files um, actual files on your computer. Of course you could have put um, existing file in here if you would have say um, you were trying to manipulate something in, within a directory of some folder and you went in here and you actually typed this in it would overwrite that file with this content so make sure that you are um, paying attention and again um, I'll just go over here and show you that if I go to search and I type zzz dot text there it is so zzz.txt, open it, and intro. So after that ran, it stored the um, variable into this folder, which was then on my computer. So that's all I want to show you guys in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So.